simply stated, he is the franchise in Chicago. Known worldwide as Air Jordan, he has the uncanny ability to do the near impossible. The magic of Larry Bird has been missing from Boston since mid-November. But in his absence, the KG veteran Robert Parrish has performed at a new level, playing with the vigor of a rookie and providing leadership for Reggie Lewis and Brian Shaw, the Celtics' new breed, a breed that has even brought legends to their feet. It hasn't been easy for Celtics coach Jimmy Rogers in year one, as his hopes remain high as he awaits the return of Larry Bird. Welcome to sold-out Chicago Stadium, the second oldest arena in the NBA, the scene of many memorable sporting events in the past, and these days the showcase to the most electrifying player in the league, one Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. And this afternoon, here in Chicago, the NBA on CBS presents the Boston Celtics against the Chicago Bulls. Good afternoon again, everyone. I'm Dick Stockton. No one really stops Michael Jordan. They try to nullify him. He already has scored 52 points this year against Boston. It'll be interesting to see how the Celtics play him. Meanwhile, Hubie Brown. Well, Jimmy is very optimistic. We need to play a good, solid game for 45 minutes now in order to win. When Larry, with Larry, you could get by with an average game and still steal it at the end. Uh -huh. Doug uh, Collins really has a tough job. He has an entirely new front so line. What he's trying to do is find the perfect blend and still get Michael Jordan showtime. All right, so that's what we have today. The Bulls have won three in a row. The Celtics have won three of their last four. Sit back and enjoy the NBA. The starting lineups, McHale, Lewis, Parrish, Johnson, and Ainge for the Celtics. Grant, Pippen, Cartwright, Jordan, and Paxson. That's John Paxson. He's going against his brother Jim today. And there is Michael Jordan, the leading scorer in the league at over 35, coming off a triple-double Friday night against Denver. Chicago in white, Celtics in their green Chicago ball. Well, early, Dick, we're going to see Chicago trying to get all five players involved in the offense. And I think we should see if they can get the ball down inside to Cartwright and Grant in the post-ups. And you can see that Parrish is going to try and push Cartwright out as much as possible. Keep in mind that Jordan really likes to use the early part of the game, maybe the entire first quarter, to just set up other people. Well, they realize that in order to get people to continue to rebound and play defense, you must allow them to shoot. Grant takes the first shot and goes, and Chicago has the lead. The officials working today's game, Hugh Evans, Bennett Salvatore, and Hank Armstrong. Well, Boston primarily is trying to go into McKeel and to Paris, establish the low post game, but they have to get that third player to give them major point production today. Reggie Lewis could be that guy. Maybe Danny Ainge, who hits and ties it up. Lewis has come on. He had a 33-point game against Chicago earlier. A little pressure by Boston, a new wrinkle. Jordan with his first shot. And Robert Parrish is on the floor and hurting at the other end. Jimmy Rogers... Ed Lassert, Chris Ford, and he is in pain. Now, Robert Parrish is off to his best start. Well, Cartwright was blocking him out that time, Dick, and he catches him with his left -time elbow uh, right in the uh, middle of the chest area. A full timeout has been called by the Celtics. He has been their meal ticket in the absence of Larry Bird. We'll be back to Chicago Stadium after this. Robert Parrish, who took an elbow in the chest, still is in pain. And meanwhile, Mark Akers will replace him. And you can see what Parrish has done, playing more, scoring more rebounds. Well, in this ball game, we have three of the best offensive centers in the league for moves. And for all young players, you should be watching. Mikhail Parrish. Jordan with the steal. He has averaged seven steals in the two games against Boston. He leads the league. Pippen finds room. Basket counts and a foul. And there's a guy to watch in his second year out of Central Arkansas. When you line up the athletes in this league, this guy is one of them. <laughs> watch this step and uh, the powerful extension. Doug Collins says I'm so proud of the way he has worked coming back from adversity. And now he is just getting again. Paxson, Celtics get back. Ainge makes a good play. 
bounds. Dennis Johnson trying to save it goes out of bounds. Anytime you're on the fast break, you try not to throw a pass in the. Robert Parrish is off the bench and coming back in. He appears to be all right. Ball taken by Ainge, and he's hit one of them. He's been their offense. Kale double teamed and a Chicago foul. Uh, that time, uh, Paxson took a real shot to the on face. Kale's catch. He has at least four sensational moves. There he tries to split it, and he's going to catch Paxson as the arm comes down. Foul was on John Paxson as there is task a little easier now. Jordan. Great feed inside of Pippen. He had position to score, but couldn't. Still 9-3. to three. We've been stuck on this score now for over a minute, for sure. Knocked away, and it is Chicago ball. ball. They only give you one shot. And it says a lot because they forced the fewest turnovers also. Wild shot by Grant. Nowhere near the hoop. Jimmy Rogers because Parrish and McHale are not getting the shot attempts. And as the basket will count, Reggie Lewis, who scored 33, as we mentioned, in an earlier game here at Chicago Stadium, gets the basket and will go to the line. Parrish, as long as you move without the ball, and you make your cut, they will find him with a second foul. So he's got to be wary about picking up a third foul. He didn't get to play much last year as the number one pick, as you mentioned, out of Northeastern. He certainly is this year. Jordan Lewis got a hand on him. Excellent double teaming that time by the Celtics. They kept Michael behind the board. Nine to six, Chicago. Jordan goes in against Harris and scores. Great move against the big man. You know, it's interesting to watch Jordan in the open yeah. floor. Bulls had missed six shots before Jordan penetrated. Right. Celtics have not had the lead. They've dropped both games to Chicago this year, but both close games. Jordan is fouled going in, and it looks like Reggie Lewis got a piece of it. The Bulls, with a record of 19 and 14, are not near the top, as you see there, in fifth place in the Central Division, seven games behind amazing Cleveland, yet Chicago is exactly where they were a year ago. Doug Collins is very happy with his ball club. He feels that in the second half of the year that the execution is going to be there. Pippen. Thanks it in. Playing the two fouls. Johnson with Parrish on the wing. Foul. The basket counts. So Dennis Johnson, who is... Averaging under nine points a game, showing some flashes of the past. Now you realize Dennis has been around a long time, but he has been on the all-defensive team nine straight years. And that, not to mention the clutch shots he takes when they needed a big play. Scotty Pippen goes right around Lewis and goes baseline. Under five minutes remaining in the first period, the Bulls have led all the way. They're up by five now, 15 to 10. Jordan basket moving a foul. Talk about Air Jordan. There was an example of it. That was an Air Jordan. <laughs> Anytime that you can take off and challenge Robert Parrish and hold the basketball, watch how far he holds it out on the right side. As he get by Dennis Johnson here now, he challenges Parrish. You know, Parrish is one of the best shot blockers that we have in the league for years. Made that one look very easy. Foul was on Dennis Johnson, his first, and Michael Jordan. Season's average one. Doug Collins told us yesterday, he says he's gotten to the point now where if he gets 28 points and 12 rebounds and seven assists. Rebound, Reggie Lewis. He's Reggie got a good Lewis. offensive rebound and a basket by the three on three. McHale goes in and scores against Horace Grant. Four point Chicago lead. Here's the pressure by Boston. And five second violation, second violation called against Chicago. That was excellent defense. Jimmy Rogers is trying to implement this back to the old Celtic days of denying you the inbounds pass. Jordan and Pippen each with seven points to lead Chicago. Hardright has moved out on top. It's open inside. Jordan taking advantage of it. Follow up gets the foul on the second try. You cannot fall asleep on Michael Jordan. Uh, we're talking about once that ball goes up on the glass, here we have Robert Parrish extremely frustrated because 
what is happening is, is Parrish is constantly trying to cover because Michael's beating his man every time off the dribble. But once the ball goes on the glass, Michael is one of the best rebounders in this arena today. He's averaging over eight a game. Here's a very highly touted rookie, a steal many people think, is number 24 in the first round. 6'6 rookie Brian Shaw from Cal Santa Barbara. He's opened a lot of eyes in this league. Well, they like him because not only does he penetrate well off the dribble, but he can make the pass in traffic, and then he gives them another excellent defensive player at the guard position. Jim Paxson is in. And there's Brian Shaw's game inside. He's got to be the point guard of the future for this. Team. See, right now I'm Doug Collins. I'm happy with the fact that I'm limiting McHale and Parrish. The problem being, though, is the slicing and penetration of the other three players that are keeping this a close game. Under three minutes to go in the first period. Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown, the Bulls and the Celtics. Hard right. And the looping pass. Shaw tried for the steal. That was a beautiful Damn. pass. But it was Ron Grandison who kept it alive out of the University of New Orleans. Final cut by Denver a couple of years ago and then played in the CBA. Pippen against Grandison. Oh, he's done that three times so far. Two today. very, very tough shots. The thing that I'm impressed that at the Boston end of the floor offensively are all of the second shot opportunities that they are getting. And when you think about it, in the first period, the Bulls have led all the way. Biggest lead was six. Jordan will go to the line. Robert Parrish picking up his second personal foul. We'll watch that. And Michael Jordan shooting. He has nine points. Well, Michael leads the league in foul shot attempts per game. You think about this one in a second. Trying to guard him, he gets to the line at least ten shot opportunities. See, he knows that he can take Jimmy Paxson off the dribble. Now, back, I know that my job is doubly tough today. I've got to watch the Celtics. And he's doing it again today. Whistle and a foul. Now, uh, We're at Chicago Stadium and a sellout crowd. Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown, the NBA on CBS, and we'll be with you weekly now. Brad See, right. Sellers picks up the foul. Jordan's telling Sellers right now, just don't grab his shirt like that. Uh, he, he tried to front McHale in the low post area, and when they went for the lob pass, he grabbed his shirt so that McHale could not get to the basket. It's about Kevin McHale that were denied vehemently by the Celtics of a trade to the Dallas Mavericks. Find Sellers the rebound for Pippen. Bulls lead by five. Pippen all the way, lost control of it. Grandison picks it up in the corner. Kale try to get the ball inside. Pippen. Here's Jordan. And the smart thing, Paxson could only foul him there. Good Sol foul by Paxson. Solid foul. Jimmy Paxson did not allow Michael to get the ball up above his shoulder. Anytime that a guy is out on a break or taking a rebound and going to dunk it on you, you try to foul him before he gets the ball up over his shoulders into a three-point play. Here's Will He is a seven-footer out of uh, Vanderbilt, the 11th pick in the draft, and uh, Re up to recently, he had played the fewest minutes of any number one draft round pick. He played his most minutes on Friday, and Doug Collins now has made a commitment to use Will Perdue, and Cartwright will go out of the game. He scored four, but he was a presence inside. That last foul was on Paxson. Pippen goes out now, and Horace Grant returns. So you can see people can play several positions in this alignment. Michael Jordan, 85% foul shooter. What can he do? He's perfect from the line today, seven for seven. Michael Jordan has 13 points in this quarter with 40 seconds now remaining. Excellent contribution defensively and looking for a shot facing the basket. There's the time remaining in the quarter. There's a differential of six seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Bulls leading all the way. Jordan isolated. One second. Sellers ah! makes the basket. It's a three-point basket and does it in time. A three-point shot at the 24-second buzzer, and Chicago has their biggest lead of the game, 33 to 23. And that'll do it. Good finish of the first 12 minutes by Chicago, Hubie. Oh, I love the defense. The pressure is there, the aggressiveness. They're double-teaming hard, and they're keeping the low-post people, McHale and Parrish, out of offensive shot opportunities. Defense. Bulls pushing it up. 
Purdue from Hodges. <laughs> well, he took off too early. He, he was out on the break, and they gave him the ball. Lewis from McHale. Good pass from Kevin McHale as they doubled him. And as a result, with Purdue getting more time, Dave Corzine, the 11-year veteran who's been in a shooting slump now, has dropped some more and will not see all that much action. And he's not pleased with that. This has come in for the Boston Celtics. Seven-footer in his second year. Danny Ainge buries one from just inside the three-point mark. Team and all five guys must rebound. And right now, they're not getting there. Purdue has a shot blocked by Parrish and a foul on Purdue. I say the turnaround shot by Lohas. A little more than three minutes elapsed in the second period. 36-29 Chicago. Parrish. You say chicken fight only because the chicken's here today. Have you noticed him? And the little chicken chickadees. Idol. <laughs> <laughs> chickadees too. Horace Grant. Horace Grant. QB mentioned. Horace Grant and Scotty Pippen. Two new starters this year. Both in their second year. He's got good range. 8.40 remaining in the first half. Lewis goes around everyone. Gets the basket in the foul. Reggie Lewis with 11 points and the leading score for the Celtics. The foul is on Purdue. His second. Lewis is uh, blessed with great quickness. Watch how he takes that big step right here. Boom, there it is. Purdue, no chance. And then you always come up on the other side of the rim anytime that you think you're going to get a shot. Next Saturday, Reggie Lewis will have his number retired by Northeastern University. A lot of pressure on Ainge with Bird out. Outside shooter, Parrish goes right in and scores. That's what he's been doing all year, and that's why he's as good as anyone in the East. Uh, Doug Collins wants a 20-second timeout right now. He wants to stop the run because as well as Chicago is playing, they are only ahead by four points at this time. The Cleveland Cavaliers have taken the NBA by storm, doing it with the league's best defense. In fact, just recently, the Cavaliers blocked 21 shots in one game against the New York Knicks. Mark Price has emerged as a premier point guard. Larry Nance, the experience in Brad Doherty, is proving why he was the number one selection two years ago and the second most improved team in the league along with Golden State. As a career 55% shooter and a 78% shooter on the foul line. Michael Jordan, who was out of the game, returns. Replacing Hodges, Jordan scored 13 points all in the first quarter. Lojas. Good touch from outside, the second year out of Iowa. See, Chicago is... Under seven minutes to go, first half. Bulls have led all the way by as much as 11, but their lead is four right now. Ainge and three-point plan hits, and Danny Ainge in two games plus this year. Chicago lead has been cut to one on a 14-4 run by the Celtics in the last four minutes. Is a clear out. Jordan banks it in. What a rally breaker, huh? I tell you, he would have been great uh, playing Minnesota Fats. <laughs> Boston Celtic team right now. And I watched Dennis Johnson working real hard. Here we have a great offensive player, one of the best ever, versus one of the premier defensive guards in the history of basketball. And Dennis played him as well as you could play him, but because of the elevation, he still gets the shot. With another three attempt. Harris. Forget it. Basket counts and a foul. Robert Harris. And they're not blocking out Chicago now. Well, it's difficult to block out whenever you're running double and triple teams at people on either side of the lane. Going in there, and they are banging. Their three front court people are doing an outstanding job on the offensive board. Here's Pippen in the open court, beating Jordan. You know, I didn't think he saw him, Dick. You, you could see Michael Jordan was out in front, and it was nice to see that Pippen delivered that pass. Reggie Lewis over Pippen. Tough shot for Lewis, Reggie and he goes in. He had Pippen in his face, and the Celtics tie it up again. Well, Lewis is so hard to uh, play off the dribble, Dick, because you always have to worry about him going all the way. And then if he pulls up, he's got the uh, height jump. Oh, oh. Jordan fouled inside by Robert Parrish, and that'll be Parrish's second foul. Here we have Chicago coming out. Pippen uh, is going to get the ball up, up here now. Now watch on the left side of your screen how Jordan is out in front. 
Yeah, he could have given him the pass a little earlier, but that's okay. The main thing is the ball was delivered. Anytime that a guy runs hard in the outside lane, you must give him the ball, or maybe the next time or the time after, he'll never run as hard. Third foul on Robert Parrish and Mark Akers. Rogers yesterday about Akers. Are they down on him because his minutes are, are low this year? And he said, no, not at all. It's because Robert Parrish is having such a sensational season. He bluffed Ainge out of the shot and then really challenged McHale. Jordan looking for an opening. Double team. No, no. no basket. Offensive interference. Well, that's that's the slot referee, Dick. That's his call. And he was right on top of that one. Cartwright catches a piece of it, and it doesn't matter how much. So it isn't like this happens a night in and night out. We're seeing a rarity here. Give the Celtics the credit side and Pippen a four-on-one Chicago fast break. Pippen. Jordan gave it up, and Pippen will go to the rugged. Scotty Pippen. The line. The foul was on Ainge. He has three in Robert Parrish. Well, if there's a flaw in Scotty's game, it's the foul line. Uh, he has been a very poor foul shooter. He's only shooting 63% for the season. Paxson in the backcourt with Shaw. The foul call, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen now has picked up his third. his third. We checked before, he had two. Now he gets his third, so he is the only Chicago Bull with three. Now, to see, that was a bad foul because it's the penalty. It put the uh, Boston in the penalty, and the foul happened about 27 feet away from the basket. It was kind of a bad gamble to go for that Reggie steal there. The Central Division, and I guess a lot of San uh, Antonio and Miami, so they have yet to beat. Paxson on Shaw. Jordan is guarding Lewis and overplaying him. Jordan. Michael Jordan with 21 points. That was beautiful, Dick. Here at Chicago Stadium. Close game. Well played first half. Here we have Hodges. Now watch the lob right to the front of the rim. See, the defensive man is get, getting caught on the top side on Michael Jordan down on that baseline. You're looking at the game clock in the half. McHale is fouled. Kevin McHale has so many moves down inside, and if you notice, he rarely puts the ball on the floor. He moves, he, he keeps using his pivot foot, he goes down to the base, swings back, he crosses over, and he very rarely Ron dribbles Grant the ball. And I think one of the greatest things in Kevin's career, oh, everybody Lewis. knows he's won the six-man award in 84 and 85, but he is the first player and the only player in the history of the game to shoot 60% from the floor right. and over 80% on the foul line. In the history of the NBA, that's, that's incredible. Phenomenal. Pressure, Grant on the alley-oop. Grant again. And a foul called against the Celtics with six seconds to go. They beat the pressure there nicely. Well, you have to make those because that was an easy. That was almost a gimme. Six but seconds remaining. One another for this last six seconds of the quarter. You do not want a mismatch in quickness right now. And that's it in a very close halftime. And Jimmy Rogers has to like what he's seen thus far. That's the end of the first half with the score. Bulls 54, Celtics 52. The Chicago Bulls leading the Boston Celtics 54 to 52 at halftime here at Chicago Stadium. NBA, Michael Jordan and the Bulls and the entertainment here at Chicago Stadium. And they're doing their best. Nine to one rebounding edge off the offensive glass. That's the pattern right now. Reggie Lewis with 16. Michael Jordan with 21 points. It's the leading scorers in the Reggie Lewis, you talked about a third guy. He's yes. the first guy that they really <laughs> yeah, That's <laughs> right. He's having a nice game. And you know what's uh, good about what he's doing also? He is that free guy that's getting on that offensive glass and keeping a lot of balls alive for someone else to pick up. Well, Larry Bird is back in Boston trying to get ready. He's The cast has been off. Start the second half. McHale in the pivot. Got Paris, Lewis, Dennis Johnson, and Ainge. Dennis Johnson hits to tie the game. When the ball comes out of the pivot area, they make two passes. They rotate the ball, two passes. Hartwright, honoring Grant, who has good range, is playing him tight. Pippen uses a Grant screen. They want him to shoot better, and there's a chance he will once he gets some practice on those. That's right. Inside, McHale batted away by Grant, and here's a two-on-two. Two. Pippen against Dennis Johnson. What savvy did Dennis Johnson have to do? Yeah, you see, he cut him off without any body contact because he forced them to elevate out too far. 
Paris strong to the hoop. Robert Paris, Robert Paris with nine points now. In a game like this, that's really a half-court ball game. You must take advantage of the easy opportunities, and we're not seeing that in this game. Cartwright, Bill, coming on the shot clock. Oh. Reggie Lewis, a jumper, Lewis. drops Lewis with 18 points, the Celtic top score. Uh, here's Michael Jordan making something happen here right now. Now, even though he draws the two defenders, now watch what happens. The free man just step, and it's the old story. Anytime that you're playing with a great player and he gets double and triple teamed, if you move to the free area and he's unselfish, he'll get you the ball for the open shot. There's Dennis Johnson. That's what you were talking about. Get around him. And that time, Parrish was not going to pick up a silly foul. Eight. With a two-point basket. We have had 11 ties in this game. Bulls led by 11 in the first half. Bill Cartwright. Everyone's talking about every other team in the Eastern Conference. Milwaukee quietly 21 and 11 at this time. It is quiet. It's like Jordan's quiet 21 at the half. Yes. Hasn't scored yet in the third. 7.45 to go. Dennis Johnson Dennis getting Johnson. the range. He's hit two in a row. Michael Jordan is laboring out here. With six minutes to go in the last quarter against Denver the other night, he twisted his right ankle, and he has swelling on the inside and in the outside of that ankle. So he's picking his spots to explode. How about that? That's a good cut and a great pass. Right. Perfect place. That's what all the players will tell you. All you have to do is cut and be open. Michael will get you to basketball. Do you know who the best playing the game is? Me, Mars Blackman. And I'm way above the rim, demonstrating some serious hang time. Very serious. Do you know how I get up for my game? Do you know, do you know, do you know? That's right, Air Jordan, Air Jordan, Air Jordan. Mike, what's up? Oh, m money, money, why you want to do that to me? Why you leave me hanging? Come on, I got it. Oh, fuck! Mike, man, that's cold. Well, you know it's nice. He has he has time for everyone. He'll stand and sign autographs for the children. He is very pleasant, and and when you talk to the players on this team, traveling with Michael Jordan is like traveling with a rock star, a movie star. You name it. I mean, he does not take a backseat to anybody. <laughs> Except in the limo, he takes it back. Danny Ainge right at the key. Danny I'm allowed Ainge. one punt. Rebound, Pippen. Jordan. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Cartwright lost control. Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Like a shot out of a cannon, Hubie. And 13 for Scotty. Lewis comes right back. 20 points for Lewis. Remember, he scored his career high, 33, in this building earlier this season. Now watch Why as uh, Pippen comes out of here. He makes a bad commitment. Here, watch this. Boom. As he goes up to make the dunk, the ball slips right out of Cartwright's head. Cartwright has picked up his third foul. Lewis, good feed from Parrish. The thing to do is, is foul the man. Do not give him the layup. Make him make the two foul shots. He's made the first, and coming up will be his 10th free throw attempt, which gives you an example of what kind of an inside player and relentless offensive rebounder Reggie has been today. Well, I know uh, Dennis Johnson does not blow a lot of smoke on guys, and he said that uh, Reggie Lewis is going to be a great star in this league. That's all you need to know. Celtics with their second lead of the game, 70 to 68, 520 to go in the third, and they're extending their defense to Jordan. Bumping Johnson, it'll call the foul on Dennis. It'll be the second team foul and second person. Chicago Stadium, where Michael Jordan performs his magic, and today Jordan has 21, has yet to score in the third quarter, and the Boston Celtics more than holding their own against the Chicago Bulls, leading 70 to 68, 515 to go in the third clock. You can have a party out there before they have to shoot. Pippen in three-point territory. You know, that was nice. He had the three-point shot, but when the defensive man left him, he just took it in and made that nice 15-foot jump. Actually, you know, he was a two-year All-Star player out there at Portland in his younger days. The rest of the guys are young, young legs. Jordan Michael Jordan by Dennis Johnson. Talk about young legs. McHale pulls up and hits over Cartwright. Good outlet pass by Robert Parrish. I, that, that, when you're coaching, and you, when a game gets like this, what you want to do is grab everybody, Say, slow them down. <laughs> Will somebody take a good shot? Jordan beats Grant. Grant for Michael Jordan. 
Now you knew he was going to pass that. No. <laughs> I think Grant knew. <laughs> watch, watch this scoop pass as the defense comes. Here comes Michaela. Cut it off. There's the double team. What a drop off. When you play with Michael Jordan and he penetrates inside the foul line, you should always have your hands up at your numbers because you never know when he's going to deliver the pass. You know, Hubie, he's the leading scorer on the team. But I think what uh, Doug Collins says is, look, set people up. Fourth quarter is your quarter, right? And I think that's what Michael Jordan tries to establish. I have a hunch he'll do a lot of shooting and scoring in that fourth. Jackson with under three minutes to go, try to get it to Paris. Picked off by Jordan. Three on one. Jordan. and uh, one of three players in double figures. So Lewis getting a breather now. Due to the fact that the Celtics have Paxson in the backcourt with Dennis Johnson. Robert Harris turn around, lands on the floor. He was elbowed in the chest before. 77-76 Chicago. Michael Jordan getting a rest right now, and that'll include the between periods breather. 140 to go in the third. Plenty of time. Seven seconds. Fronting Cartwright is Parrish. He's playing aggressively despite four fouls. Driving in and a blocking foul. Called against Austin Grandison and Pippen will go to the line and shoot two. Jimmy Rogers is livid right now. Mainly because at, uh, telling him that he thought UB Evans might have had a, uh, an offensive foul. It looked like he was starting to signal that. Pippen now one for four from the free throw line. But you see. When referees are working together, see they're having a nice conference over here because you know why Salvador wasn't involved in the call. <laughs> he went to the third. Right, that's right. That's a good advantage of having a third guy. Wait till the playoffs and we have the alternate, the fourth guy behind the back. Pippen makes one out of two at the moment he's been in there. I see young players taking a little heat here, here in Chicago. Grant, Grant travels. Yeah, a little, little excited that time. Kale, Lohas, and Grandison, they're front. Parrish on them. Shaw in the game. Jim Paxson gets the jumper. You can't keep even uh, Jimmy Paxson that shot at the top of the circle. I mean, we're talking about a guy who scored an awful lot of points in this league. Hodges misses. Sellers finds Pippen. Good feed by Sellers, and the Bulls lead again. 11. Harris also 11. Shaw, that's what he does best. McHale tips it in. Ten points for Kevin McHale, but McHale and Parrish. Here we have that pass. Watch down on the baseline now. That was a very nice look for Sellers. And I Getting back into that right now of Boston Celtic team play. Let's, let's uh, make up for our weaknesses as five rather than going one-on-one. -on -one. And that's the end of the third period here in Chicago with the score. The Bulls 80 and the Celtics 80. And we'll return to Chicago Stadium. Stockton and Hubie Brown. And as we start the fourth quarter, you can see how Boston has outshot Chicago dramatically in the third quarter. Those are the high scorers, Reggie Lewis and Michael Jordan. But that quarter, it'll be interesting to see if he tries to take over the, the game right now. Normally, the fourth quarter is his quarter. Jordan going in, left-handed basket counts, and a foul changed hands at the right time. Foul was on Lojas. I guess it didn't take him long, Hugh. Uh, it's, it's the advantage. It's the advantage of being able to shoot with either hand on the drive into the hall. Now, he does this with confidence. See how he just laid that out there? But he brought it up on the right side to take the defensive man to him. 28 points for Michael Jordan. He's averaging 35 plus, leading the league. Paxson with a runner. Paxson, Paxson, lead to one. Jimmy's looking for the shot today. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Three years older. Oh. Five points in this fourth period for Jordan. Less than two minutes gone by. Lewis. 
Reggie Moore. It's over for Lewis, and he leads Boston with 24. See, with the double teaming on the one side, if you reverse the ball to the opposite side of the floor with two passes, that man will be open. Jordan inside, out, open to Sellers. And we have uh, Michael now. Watch Michael turn the corner here right now and attack the basket. What, what an explosiveness right there. Michael Jordan right now is 183 points close to scoring the 10,000 of his career. He does that. He will be the second fastest in the history of the NBA to get there. Wilt is first. Six on the shot clock and Danny Ainge hits. Danny Ainge with 13 points. All five Celtic starters with double figures in the game. Bulls lead again, cut to one. It looks like right now Jordan against the Celtics. It's the way this fourth period has started out. Here's a clear out. Against the rookie Shaw, Jordan oh. up nicely by Akers. Does it good? Her basket good and a foul. What can you do? Well, when he turned and he faced Brian Shaw, uh, he beats him off the dribble. That's fine. You know he beats everyone. But as he gets down to the baseline, watch how he slices in between the two rotating players right there. That was an amazing move. The numbers on Jordan, 32 points. You're scoring an awful lot of points, and you're building the mystique at home, 15 and 3. They're only one game behind the Los Angeles. Like a fantastic coaching job. Paul Westfall is the assistant coach out there. Michael Jordan with the free throw now with 33 points. Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish have both come back in the Celtic lineup. He's guarding Hodges. Lewis on Pippen. Inside Jordan does his thing and gets three. Celtics great block. McHale wound up with three different teams. That's right. a lot. Pippen going strong to the hoop. Lewis has it. The Celtics, who were down by four a moment ago, forced to play without Larry Bird since mid-November. They foul Parrish. Bulls with the second team foul. And it's on Scotty Pippen. Five on Pippen, who has scored 18 today. One more, and he's gone. And Horace Grant will come in and replace Scotty Pippen. Lewis, Boston, looking to knot it up. Kale for three. Lewis grabs the loose ball and ties it up. And he just picked. Hodges' his pocket there. Uh, Hodges was careless that time with the rebound. Tied at 90, another tie. It's our 20th tie of the game. Cartwright working hard against Parrish and traveling ball against Bill. Parrish playing with four fouls. The uh, long rebound to Jordan. He'll take his time. Trying to break the tie. Jordan goes around Ainge, finds Hodges for three. Lewis, good feet inside, draws the foul. Good pass by Dennis Jones. Eight for ten from the line is Reggie Lewis. So much is the confidence of your peers. And when the guys are, are giving you nice accolades and they realize that you're going to... And then the coaching staff backs it up, these shot opportunities. Under seven minutes to go. Fourth period, Cartwright goes up. And a foul. Well, Cartwright is really upset. See, uh, you, you watch this beautiful pass by Jordan. See, he knew that he had a dunk, and instead he ends up with a fadeaway jump shot, which results in a two foul shot. He walked to the foul line, very discouraged. Team fouls are three apiece in this fourth period. And he'll take it to the basket to get foul shot opportunities and get the guy. Cartwright has 19, made one out of two. Dennis Johnson, great try to get the pass. Jordan goes up and a foul. Anytime you foul Jordan in that situation, oh. it's a good foul, and he wants a breakaway. Doug Collins thinks it should be breakaway, two shots in possession. No breakaway. So he really is the bulk of the offense, as expected in the final 12 minutes. Celtics by one. Jordan could have given Chicago the lead. Instead, he ties it up. Halfway through the final period. Penetrating is Dennis Johnson looking for the foul. And he gets it at the game. Perfect from the line is Dennis Johnson. Missed one after nine successes. Celtics by one. Hartwright setting a screen for Jordan. He'd like him to clear out. 
like to see just one defender. Jordan. Michael Jordan. 36 points for Michael Jordan. Celtics looking for the lead. McHale gets it Kevin to him. 12 points for Kevin McHale, who's had a very quiet offensive day. Yet the Celtics lead by one in the fourth period, beating the winning team on the way from home. Here's a clear out. Nearly five minutes remaining. Hodges. Hit. Dennis Johnson and Hodges for the moment was open. Well, from here down the wire, any player who's at the top of the circle when Jordan is on the wing will always be open. The player must make the shot, though. Ainge, three-point try. He's got three it. Point he field has both Celtic three-point baskets today and 16 in the game. And Boston leads 98 to 96. Driving in and drawing the foul. Jordan, the Bulls are looking for a goaltending call, none forthcoming. Dennis Johnson with four fouls, and the Celtics are in the penalty. Celtics' biggest lead was two points on several occasions in this game. Actually, they had a four-point lead at one time. They'll make it two. Bulls led by 11 in the first half. Jordan going for 38. That's what he had the other night when he had the triple-double against Denver. When we talked to Doug Collins about the fact that he's getting 24 shots a game, you know, people feel to talk about how many assists he has. Reggie Lewis going to the hoop. And Reggie Lewis now with 30 points. He is approaching his season and career high, established against the Bulls here. 33 at Boston by two. Air ball. Pippen has it. Bulls trying to take the lead. Him off. Quick passing. Pippen. Teams and are shooting the penalty now. Jordan. A little room to work with. Michael! Michael Jordan with 40 points in the game and has scored 15 of the 24 the Bulls have in this fourth period. 104-102 Chicago. The Celtics keep tying it up and the Bulls keep taking the lead. McHale double. Lewis is open. Great. Great body work out in midair by Reggie Lewis, who has 32 points. His last two field goals have come from the same spot. Two great shots. Jordan cutting in. 11 on the shot clock. Hodges hit one before. Not that time. Parrish with a rebound. Now the Celtics with an opportunity late in the fourth quarter to take a lead. Scotty Pippen got the ball away. Cartwright against McHale is foul. You must dunk in that situation. That was a great pass by Michael Jordan. And when Cartwright took that ball, he went so strong to the hall. Now Kevin shooting 71 from the line, but I think that will, people will see that picked up as the year moves on. Scoop falls off the rim. Rebound, Jordan. 36 seconds to go. And they'll open it up and spread out to a four corner. Well, that's the story now. The philosophy is do you let them run the clock down and shoot it because you're going to get one shot? Rely on your defense, or do you go foul them early? Five seconds on the shot clock. Pippen. Open. Thanks it in. Big basket. It's a great shot, but it didn't fall. Let's go back to the strategy right now. If the Celtics can score quickly, they must put on full court pressure. Whether it's going to be zone or man to man will depend upon what Jimmy Rogers has practiced in the situation right now. Then, you go for the quick steal. And if you can deny the pass and make the steal, then you must continue. Loose ball, Jordan has it, he's fouled with eight seconds to go. And that'll just about do it for the Boston Celtics. Of course, Grant was alert to switch out, and he faced the big six foot ten inch Grant when he went up for that shot. Cartwright is out, gets a hand as he scores 23 points, matches his season's high. Jordan looking for number 42. He's got it. 42 for Michael Jordan. Danny Ainge, time running out. Too little, too late. And that'll do it. The Bulls win it. Celtics gave the Bulls all they could handle, but for Doug Collins, Cartwright, and Jordan, 
They have now won four in a row, and the Bulls are 20 and 14 on the year in a very tough Central Division race. The final score, 110 to 104 over the Celtics. And our Miller Lite player of the game has to be none other than Michael Jordan. 42 points, 11 assists, 9 steals. And Light Beer is proud to present a check for $1,000 on behalf of Michael Jordan to the United Cerebral Palsy Association. So.